Hey, how you doing this week? Welcome back to the Multi Record Studio for our uh, one hour of house. I've renamed the Studio Hangouts to One Hour of House because I'm going to create a uh, brand new track from scratch every week uh, or every session um, from 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 nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight, but we're going to do it in an hour. We're doing four 15 minute sections. There's going to be a drums and a groove section where you get the bass line and the drums working together. There's going to be like a melody and top line section uh, where we work on other keyboard sounds and things like that. Then there'll be an arrangement section and then there will be a mix down section and we'll have a finished track at the end of the hour. That's the idea anyway. So get to yourselves over to mode2records.com if you want to get hold of the parts for this track because I've given away all the parts to everything we create in these sessions on the website. So go to yourself over to mode2records.com um, and get yourself sorted out on there. Sign up for the mailing list. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos as well on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, get that uh, subscribe button clicked right now and then you'll be able to see all the videos that we're going to be putting up, all little tips and tricks videos, all the gear videos and all sorts of geekiness going on. It's going to be great. Okay, so um, let's get cracking with the track. Let's flick you over to my screen here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're in the MPC software again here. Let me just start the timer. So the first 15 minutes starts now. Okay, so I've already loaded some drums up again. Just got some uh, Technics X5 sounds here. So let's just go in and do the standard four on the floor bass drum. Okay, let's just take the sequence length down to four bars. So we're not doing all eight bars on there. Okay, so. I'm not sure about that snare drum. Okay, let's put the hi hat in. See what I'm doing on this screen here. You see what I'm doing with my hands on the desk here. Okay, so you see everything I'm doing, programming everything up on the MPC. Um, this is the MPC Renaissance, so it's the the one that's all the software is running on the computer, but it's been all controlled from here. Uh, that's how I tend to work. Okay, it's just uh, the track up. We're going to go to a different. I'm back. I need to get my uh, LCD window up on the screen here so you can see what I'm up to here. You can make that out. I'm going to change this to a 808. Okay, let's use that one. All right. Three record on top of that. Let's just undo that for a second. So it's auto saving. Okay, that's better. Let's 
it straight on the floor. Maybe let's just do that. That's a bit loud at the moment. We'll sort that out in a second. Program mix. Gives me the volumes and all the drums over here on my healing controls. So I'm going to get this clap and bring it down and just fade it back up again. All right. Just save that quick. Okay, now let's go to, I've got another little bank here. Let me go up in a different track here. Uh, another bank I've got loaded in here, which is um, some very grungy little sounds. These are sounds off of my Roland D5 keyboard, drum sounds, that I've sampled into my um, Spectrum RAM music machine that I've got into. It's a real 8-bit gritty little sampler that runs on the Spectrum. So I'm just going to play some congas in off this. They've got a real grit to them, those samples. Um, I've just resampled them back through the, uh, the RAM music machine. So I'm going to go and put some congas in. Wrong one. Let's just redo that. That didn't go very well. Okay, here we go. modes I can now actually mix the tracks The fourth track I've got playing there is the sync track I've got running for my Mono Tribe, which I don't know if we use that tonight, we'll see. Alright. Okay. Drum's done. Alright, let's do the... Go and name the drum tracks quickly. So we've got Ram Congas, Ram Conga, and if we go down, we've got eight to eight on there, and then we've got Technics on that track. It's giving you a bit of an idea what's going on a bit later on. Okay, so now we're going to go and create a new program. And we're going to create a MIDI program. And we're going to tell, let's go have a quick look and see what ports I've got set up for MIDI. I'm going to use the micro brute tonight for baseline, I think. So let's set port A heading out to the micro brute. Okay, let's do okay on that. So that now I've got port A, which is what it's already set to. So it's playing now off the D5 on there. So let's just play get a little idea going on here. Okay. 
tight. D5 because the D5 is triggering the MIDI up in the top right hand corner of the screen. So I'm just going to go and pop it into record here and play the micro brit on there, and we'll just change the sound a little bit. pretty cool let's have some of that so we're going to record that into the uh sampler on the mpc so we can actually play that back so we're going to play it back to the mpc because i've got set up running for my nx1 So the MX1 uh, auxiliary outputs just feed into the inputs of the MPC. So I use the MPC as a completely separate instrument, um, even though it's running on the on the computer, which is uh, kind of interesting. I use it just like a normal MPC, really, but it's got the power of the computer behind it. So I'm going to go into record. Just discard that and try that again so I don't get that last note on there. There it is. Okay, so let's give that a name. Let's call that MB Base. And keep that. Keep that. And then we'll just go in sample edit mode. Trim in the front. Like that. And then just trim the end in just a tiny bit. Like that will do. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we're going to process that and just trim the ends off the front and the back don't need to do that really but i'll do it just to be tidy uh then we're gonna go back to main mode i'm gonna mute this track off of here uh so we don't hear the midi playing anymore and i'm going to just go up to the next track create another new program 
But this time we're going to make it a drum program so I can trigger that baseline sample from just a normal pad. And then I'm going to just drag on the screen here the MB bass and drop it on pad A1. Like that. Edit the program so that I can have it on low ton, not on one shot. And then give it a bit of amp release. I ever wanted to just play it like a new trigger pad. Probably not going to have time to do that tonight, but uh, I might do that sometimes. So let's, let's record that in. Okay. And there it is playing back on the pad. Names for MB base and that base sample. Let's call this one MB MIDI and there's my timer. First 15 minutes done. And we've got the bass and the grooves rocking. So, to the second 15 minutes, and uh, we're going to do the melody and top line now. So let's uh, start that timer again, and we're going to go to some of the keyboards. I'm going to change the display so you can see what I'm doing over here with this camera. <clears throat> so these are my keyboards. I've got the run D5 at the bottom here is my main my main. Um, sound generation device at the bottom here my main midi keyboard uh we've got a cz 5000 a dx21 and a dx3p that's where we're going to start here today i should think so let's just play back on here again let's take out some of the top here into the sequencer on the jx3p unfortunately you can't see what i'm doing underneath here because it's right underneath my top keyboard here uh, but i'm just going to pop into the sequencer here and i can write a pattern into the sequencer so i need to get a hold of the rest button just there i'm going to go uh And let's play a little start on that. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, that doesn't sound right good. So let's just change that again here. You go for let's just go back to this sound here. <laughs> 
triggered by the output of this beat step pro um so that's actually sending the sync signal out to the jx3p which is triggering the, the sequencer as you can hear if i don't press start and stop on the sequencer it just re-triggers it from wherever it, le it left off so it's not actually uh giving it any sync signal other than where to play the notes anyway let's um just get that recorded in so we're going to pop that into record again, feeding the output uh, of the MX1 desk into the MPC. So I'm just going to record that in and see what we get. Uh, okay, record. Okay, stop that. Just re discard that and try it again. So I'm just going to just start, stop on that. And we're going to go record. Okay, so there we have the pattern on the screen there. I hope you can kind of see that. It's uh, sticky to that one there. That's got a bit better view there on now. Oh, it's me back in the, in the view again there as well. So you can see what we've got there is this the sample. I'm just going to call that JX up. Uh, we're not going to add it to MB base program, we're just going to add it to none. Keep that. Sample edit, and then using the Q links again, I'm just going to bring this in. This is why this MPC Renaissance is so good because you can just 
uh, tweak everything by twisting knobs and pressing buttons rather than clicking mice. Okay. Just that, and we're just going to trim the ends off on the sample back to main, and we're going to add uh, another new program, new drum program, and we're going to drag in that JXR sound back onto A1 again, and make it so it's no on the program edit. like that. Okay. So let's record that in. again then.
Audio's back. Brilliant. I don't know what happened there, but uh, we appear to uh, you appear to have lost. If you're still in there, are you still hearing me there? It looks like you're hearing me now. Can you still hear the machine? You can. Okay. At least it didn't completely crash out like it did last week. Um, let's get rid of that slightly there. Okay, so we can appear to be back on. And there's the end of my 15 minutes. I haven't quite finished it because I've spent two minutes of it trying to suss out why the video and the audio went. So, I'm going to just do okay on that for the moment. And we're going to put in... Just finish off doing this. Um, we could get you back onto uh, a feed of the desk. There, yeah, okay. Hopefully it's still it's still live. Is it still live? Yeah, it's still live. Okay, it appears to still be live anyway. All right, so I've just recorded in some strings from the from the D5. Um, let's just uh, so let's just call it D5 strings. We keep that. And we're going to sample edit it and just pull it all in here, like so. Okay, that's fine. Process that and discard those ends there. Uh, go back into here. And we've got upper track. Make a new program to add those into. New drum program. Add that in and drag the D5 strings across. Now this one we're going to have to just do a little bit of program editing on here. We'll make that note on. We have to give it a bit of envelope. Okay, let's give it that, and then we're going to go into record. to put in there it was just a piano part which was going to make a uh, uh, a new um, program for make it a plug-in program uh, so let's make that plug in now and I'm just going to go for a piano and go back for that UVR workstation okay and then we're going to open the window on there just really really fast little house piano Hope this to come up. I'm a little bit paranoid now about this this broadcast. It's still live, that's fine. Okay. Hey hey, you can never do anything live without some glitch, can you, eh? Anyway, so let's go DS1, let's go keys, power piano, and we've got that beautiful. sound from the core game one I'm just going to bring this window up a little bit on this computer here because I'm really paranoid about it now so I can still see the audio coming through yeah I think it's still coming through okay let's just bring the volume up a little bit more so it doesn't seem to be coming through quite as fast as much as it was Let's try that. Hopefully that's coming out of the normal audio sound. Okay.
and there. at the end there just because obviously it runs over slightly there we go okay so that's where we would have got to if I hadn't have been messing about so now we're going to start the next 15 minutes and we're going to go to the arrangement so I'm going to just take this uh, we're going to exp explode the drum tracks uh, so let's explode these drum tracks here. So we're going to go down to track, explode, and this is just basically separating all the drum tracks out onto each individual track. Uh, so I'm going to do explode. Let me just flick you onto this screen again here. Um, yeah, so this is just exploding all the tracks out, all the individual sounds out onto separate tracks. I'll leave the congas as they are. MIDI doesn't need to worry about. Bass sample's fine. Track 6 is the JX. So just call it JX there. JX. Uh, that is strings. Strings. Strings on there. This is just to help out. This is piano. P and O. There we go. Okay. So, call up piano as well. Piano. Okay. So now we're going to export. Just make sure it plays okay. Yep, yeah, fine. Okay, let's give it a bit of MPC 3000 grit onto it by pressing the MPC 3000 button, which makes it all sound like it's coming through an MPC 3000. We're going to export as audio mix down. Explode the tracks. 24 bit, 48 kilohertz, normal working procedure. And we're going to create a new folder and call this parts 120 BPM. And then in here, we're going to put all the parts. Save them. Okay, like this. Brilliant. I apologise again for the uh, lack of video there in the middle. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, but uh, anyway, when I edit it up together, it will be fine, I'm sure. So, we quit MPC now. Come out of MPC completely. We'll leave that open just there. And I'm going to go into Pro Tools. So don't forget to click the subscribe button uh, below this just to subscribe to the channel uh, and get all the videos and everything. I'll be putting a load of different gear, bits and pieces, videos up, some different plug-in tips and tricks, all that kind of thing going up on the site. Don't forget to get over to mode2records.com, get yourself signed up on the mailing list and get all the parts for this track, uh, as well as other bits and pieces. Um, exclusive mixes, DJ mixes, all sorts of stuff that I've been up to and doing. Uh, we're going to create a session from template. 48k blank 5 is fine. we we'll do that and we're going to call it. Not there. We're going to go into Hour of House 2. And we're going to call it Hour of House PT Mix. It's going to make me a brand new session like this with my kick trigger and my master comp uh, stuff already on. I just have a SSL bus compressor and the Maxim plugin on there. I've also got a, a, a bus driver plugin uh, which is disabled at the moment. Looks like that. I don't use it all the time, but I have it there in case everyone wants to use it. And then the the kick trigger is just a boom drum machine with a 909 kit in it that I can use to trigger a compressor if I wanted to do that. So I'm going to do Shift Command I, and we're going to go into um, Out of House Two, Parts 120, 
grab all these parts, copy them, and do done. It's going to put it into the audio files folder that it's just built for the Pro Tools session. Add them on new tracks at the start of the session. There they all are. We're already set to 120 BPM at the top there. Just going to go through and work out what tracks are what. So that's congas. And this one is bass. This one is JX for the looks of it. This one is strings. There we go, strings, piano. And then we've got, looks like, kick. Uh, off hat. Snare. Hats. Claps. Not clasped, claps. Claps. Rim shot. And then master. Okay, so let's just arrange these into a little bit more of a, a good order. So we're going to put kick, snare, hats, claps by the snare, off hats by the hats, and then conga. And rim shot, rim shot after off hats. Okay, so now we're going to go to a mixed view. Just take, yeah, don't worry about doing updates now. Okay, so mixed view, we're going to color these with the uh, color palette window, make them all red. Let's make them all like that, and then uh, that one as well. And then base can be bright blue. And they can be green. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine for the moment. And that gives us a good indication of what's what. Now I'm going to just choose all the drums. I hold down Shift and uh, Alt or Option key on the Mac and choose a bus. So it all to go to bus 16. And then using Shift Command N for new track, create a new stereo aux input. Set the input to be bus 16, and that's going to be for the drums my drum bus drums okay so now we've got that set up we can now just basically go through and do like a quick arrangement of it um we've got a main level for the volume of the drums so let's go through now and just sort out the arrangement and we've got seven minutes to do an arrangement come on right let's do this so we've got um, no, don't want to do that. Okay, we've got the kick drum here. Let's start off with the kick drum. Actually, no. Let's start off with a snare drum and hi hats. Let's do that. So we're going to take it over to when we start on around about bar sixteen, just to give it a bit of space at the front. Let's do bar seventeen. Okay, let's just zoom out so we can see what we're doing. And um, we'll put the loop around there. Let's take the click off. Okay, and let's get the set it all for mini so we can see it all on one screen. Double it up so it's eight bars.
object, so that's the next section we're going to do. there and then we'll take all of this section here all the way across we'll kick down as well Strings in. So let's just bring these musical parts again and we'll just start building the drums back from here take this whole section and all the drums in there as well no, not those like that let's try it again let's just get to this section like this instead Okay, and pop those there. 
like that and then copy the music again over here obviously we make it move the filters and stuff done in 15 minutes brilliant all right so we're still broadcasting okay we are fantastic we're all good we're all good okay so mix down time uh so let's just uh start the timer again now we're going to do mix down so i'm going to copy the kick trigger track all the way across here so that we can use kick trigger if we want to Gonna duplicate that, zoom out on there a bit more so I can see where it's going, and then take them to there, and then take them out of that section there, take them out across the gap in the middle, and across that gap as well, and then just knock them out from the couple out from the front there as well. Right, okay. So start it from here. Now we're going to do the mix down from where there's most everything, most everything playing here, which is around this area. So mix everything in. down as well okay so let's get the bus compressor set up so we're going to bring the let's actually let's do the drums first so let's bring the kick drum in i'm going to use my usual standard ssl channel strip still my favorite desk the one i done, trained on was a east a g series desk that's why i have it set to the g series eq on here Let's just give this a bit more pump here. Bit of dynamics on there as well. Okay, let's just give the gain down a little bit there so it's not overloading everything. Okay, so that's that snare. And I might just give this a little bit of reverb. So my, one of my favourite reverbs is this. Native Instruments RC series. This sounds great. It's an emulation of the like the old Lexicon stuff, basically. You just snare room on it. Fantastic. Put that in first. SSL channel strip. So we're still broadcasting. We are. Okay, that's good snare. Now what we could do with the with the clap was to add a bit of delay to it. We use the replica for that. Give it some low cut. And then we'll give it some EQ. Give it a bit less mix on there, I think, on the on that. 
Okay, a bit of hi hats, just give a bit of a boost to that. Tiny bit of compression. Just drives it a little bit. Again with this hi hat, got a bit of a weird. Some people have got a bit of a weird sound to it. Let's get that. A bit of compression again. Let's get a bit of reverb on this as well. Let's just copy that. That's the 24 over. Okay, and these bongos from that round music machine. Let's give it a bit of uh, groove, maybe a bit of delay. Let's just copy that replica over from here. Did I? Okay, perfect. Great, okay. Now another little secret weapon is having the SSL drum strip. Which is fantastic. Bought this at Christmas time. They're doing a special deal for £29. £29 on it. Amazing. Uh, so I picked it up. We're going to put a bit of uh, high frequency enhancer on here. Bit, and then a bit of low frequency enhancer, which is amazing. Giving a real kick from low end kick to it. A bit of uh, in there. I'm going to make this space pump a bit more with the The, with the um, the kick trigger, so I'm going to go to. Oh no, not one of those. I don't want. Okay, I want to go for a the standard Pro Tools compressor. Got my little preset here, old pump. Yeah. Okay, side chains on there. Yeah, whatever. Have a word, Pro Tools, right, okay, so let's go to 13 left, which is where I always set it to. I don't have it too much, but just a little bit of groove from it. Bit 
delay on here. We have replica delay on here. Low cut out, it doesn't crowd the mix up too much. Strings, there we go. Perfect, lovely. Okay, let's have some SSL channel strip on here. Bit of compression. Give it a little sit in together and that compressor again so it's pumping a little bit. Be careful with the strings, you don't want them to pump too much. Okay. chop it so I'm going to take let's just go edit mode in that so I'm going to take bring the grid in this okay let's just pull that back to here
apply those together with a shift alt and three and then we're just going to repeat that tie those together like that okay and that's our piano pretty much mixed in I think let's just do do the copy of these across there Bus compressors. You can see, and maximize it to set a scene of minus 0.1. So there we go. Another house track done in one hour, pretty much. Uh, it was a little bit of a glitch in the middle there, but that's fine. Not a problem. We managed to sort it out. I don't know how much of it you missed, but uh, it probably just me playing the string parts in. Not too much of a problem there. I'm going to do some testing uh, probably next week. There's not going to be one next week because it's the the Easter and everything. Um, I'm off doing other bits and pieces, doing other bits and pieces next week. So I'm not around to do it the week after. I will do some testing and we'll make sure it's all set up perfectly and back up and running. And that'll be brilliant. Uh, Motorecords.com, get yourselves over there, sign up for the main list, get yourselves all the parts for this. I'll be sending them out in the next couple of days. Uh, I'll, I'll be sending a copy of the mixed track as well out, put it up on SoundCloud on the Multi Records SoundCloud page. Last week's track is actually up there at the moment as a free download. If you want it, pop over to the SoundCloud page and uh, and get that. Um, yeah, get over to the website. Subscribe, please subscribe to the but to the uh, to the YouTube channel. So press that button below. Uh, get subscribed up so you can get all the videos we're going to be putting up, and uh, it will be awesome and amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week, have a great weekend, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Thanks a lot. Bye.